but I don't take any picture. Hello guys, so I'm back in Ghana and uh, I'm so tired but I have to go back to duties and I'm on my way to the Moving Peak Hotel where we are having the... Moving Peak, not Moving Peak, Moving Peak. Anyway, that's uh, my driver in the car. Uh, so I'm going to Moving Peak Hotel and uh, we're going for the South African wine tasting event. I think it's all day but I'm going to... I'm tired, I want to do the morning bit which is more... Uh, of an experience for social media influencers. Of course, I'm a partner for the event. Uh, this morning session is called Tweet, tweet Up, which is supposed to be like a drink up, but Tweet Up. So what people do is when they taste the wine, they share their experience on Twitter. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Let's see how it goes. I'm loving this blogging thing, but I'm not getting the views on YouTube. Why? Well, yeah, go watch, make and make money from blog, vlogging or video blogging. Bye bye. Uh, as you can see, my event is in ballroom two, and I'm um, heading towards the side. Uh, that's uh, interesting. They're getting here. Still trying to figure out where I should be. And I've seen Pearl. He's busy. <laughs> Uh, on the, um, on the is pretty much working side by side with our friends over here at Woza. We've What we actually do is we consolidate wines all around in South Africa. We realize that South Africa has got an incredible, incredible ability to approach whole new different markets around internationally. And what we've done is we consolidate wines in South Africa and we try to promote them throughout Africa. So essentially better beverages into Africa. Now what we're going to be looking at today is a whole bunch of uh, different videos from different wine farms, different regions in South Africa. We're going to be tasting some really interesting wines as well. And we're just going to see how it all can fit into each one of your industries. I don't know, is everyone here from the service industry or all different hotels? Um, basically various um, it, it, it was very prosperous in South Africa um, as the colonial rule of the British came down. So you can imagine it was always run by the Dutch, and the Dutch didn't really know how to export the wines. They didn't think, could even consider taking it back to their country or back to Europe, but the Brits did. Um, the, the English thought that, hey, this is a little bit of an opportunity, a gap in the market. And what happened was they found that it was very cheap to produce wines, and the climate was perfect. We've got a Mediterranean climate. This is now um, a couple of hundred years ago before uh, climate change started taking effect. But the climate was absolutely spot on to produce perfect wines and actually at a, at a very reasonable price. So what they did is they took the wines and they exported it back into Europe, which found South Africa's wines getting a little bit of traction. Um, unfortunately, over into, you can imagine, into into the 90s, or even the, or the 1990s, a little bit earlier in the 19th century, South Africa went through the apartheid rule, and you can imagine no one dealt with the country at all. It was a cut-off economically, so the South African wine industry essentially crashed. Um, but with this, there's always a lot of positives, and there's always negatives to anything. During that time, even though people weren't able to produce wines, uh, or weren't exporting wines, and weren't making any money from it, they left the vines in the ground. So the wines were essentially just producing and producing grapes. We are only really getting the, the, the benefit of it now, where you're going to get things like old vine Chenin Blanc, or old vine Sinsos and Grenache. With wine, this is one of the best ways to do with your flavor profiles and your sensory aspects. Understanding smells, understanding the taste of things. So the first wine that we have over here, that we're going to first of all look at the appearance or the color of the wine. We do use a little bit of that. We get a little bit of that and the fattiness, which comes through from the boat. But I would say the dominant flavor is one of the things that you can do. I know me, uh, but pretty nice smell. Fruity and light, that's what I'd say. Tell 
What do you guys think of this little last one over here? Shiraz, sure, as you were saying, it's a slightly more spicy, a bit more of a fuller kind of a flavor. It's essentially one of the, this is the spiciest style of wine that you can get. It's got a delicious, delicious backbone usually. Um, and it's characterized by more of those red fruits as well. But it's a lovely wine to pair with a lot of different foods, you can go with a lot of pizza, I enjoy the pasta, you can have it with duck, you can have it with steak, you can have pork. it with mm, pork, delicious as well. Yeah. Wow. Um, it goes really well with a lot of different foods. So, we're doing right. so you enjoy this one? Big time. Yeah. yeah. It's Shiraz, if you enjoy red wines, don't right, be too so much. Really Luckily, we've got a lot of, the there's a lot more expensive and wines out there, but this is, yeah. this is absolutely um, I think I'm more on the height of my I'm my wine person. It's a bit like Shiraz. Shiraz. <laughs> so, yeah. Renato, I know to hear you. What, what, how about the Shiraz? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, Charlie, I, I don't want to talk to you. Uh, <laughs> that was it, me. Hello. Hi, how are you? Facebook where the man. Oh, nice. All right, so I'm back for the evening session, all because of this man. He sent me a threatening message that if I don't come, he'll kill me. Yes. yes. So I'm tired, but I'm here because I'm of the girl. Yes. Yeah. Are people coming? I'm, 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 Just oh, check I'm it out. We're, we're expecting you. So as long as you're here, then we're happy. The lady is trying to get me to go on the red carpet, but I don't do photos, so like I'm, a, I'm avoiding her. She is insistent, but I won't do it. I'll walk swiftly across. That's the entrance. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'll just turn to the left and go right into uh, the room. Nice meeting you. Bye bye. So, DJ is the one uh, playing some music for the main event. And um, already people are queuing in to taste. So, it's for the. Can you start your camera? Yeah. Seriously? It's a, a little. <laughs> wow. I see. 